Work to restore power and cooling functions at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has been resumed on Tuesday morning. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it plans to restore normal functions to the central control room in the number two reactor building as early as Tuesday. Starting uh, 8 o'clock a.m. today, uh, Units 1 and 2, particularly with Unit 2, after confirming the uh, integrity of the equipment, uh, we will start operation of uh, the feeding electricity into Unit 2. After confirming the integrity of the equipment, and then the power center of the Unit 2 uh, will be uh, connected uh, with the cables with two necessary parts of uh, Unit 1 and 2. And uh, by the end of the 23rd uh, March, we'd like to finish necessary work preparation. Tokyo Electric Power Company evacuated all employees working to restore power on Monday after smoke was seen rising from the number two and three reactor buildings. TEPCO says they confirmed smoke rising from the buildings on Tuesday morning. The company adds that the radiation level at the plant briefly increased after the smoke was detected but later fell. TEPCO says it judged the smoke would not be a problem for the workers in the plant. External cables have been installed and are ready to supply power to the number one and two reactor buildings. Success in supplying warp power to the central control room in the number two reactor building should clear the way for restoring the reactor's cooling systems. The company can then monitor the temperature and water level of the reactor as well as the spent fuel storage pool under electric lightning. Lighting. TEPCO also says workers finished laying electric cables to the number three and four reactor buildings on Monday. At the number five reactor building, power has been restored with a view to resuming normal operation. Two moderately strong earthquakes shook both northeastern and central Japan on Wednesday morning. The strongest tremors were felt in Fukushima Prefecture. No tsunami warnings were issued. The first quake occurred at 7.12 a.m. Wednesday local time. The focus was the eastern side of Fukushima Prefecture near the Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake's magnitude was estimated at 6. Officials say the quake depth was estimated as very shallow. The second quake happened at 7.36 a.m., focused in the same area with a magnitude estimated at 5.8. The quake depth is estimated to be 10 kilometers below ground. No tsunami warnings were issued. An official at the Fukushima City Hall said the first quake sent vertical tremors that continued for 20 to 30 seconds. They shook windows at the City Hall building. A government survey on Monday detected amounts of radiation more than 400 times the normal level in soil, about 40 kilometers from the nuclear power plant. The survey found 43,000 becquerels of radioactive iodine-131 per kilogram of soil, while 4,700 becquerels of radioactive cesium-137 per kilogram was detected in soil sampled about 5 centimeters below the surface at roadside locations. Guma University professor Keigo Endo says the data means that a person staying for one year at the locations where the samples were taken would be exposed to four times the amount of radiation allowed by national standards. But he added there is no immediate health risk. The meteorological agency says people in northeastern Japan should remain on the alert for further strong aftershocks with an intensity of up to 6 plus on the Japanese scale of 0 to 7. As of Tuesday evening, there had been more than 60 aftershocks with an intensity of, of level 4 or higher in northeastern Japan since March 11th. The meteorological agency says that although the number of aftershocks is decreasing, there's still a possibility of major aftershocks as large as magnitude 7, even though this would be less powerful than the magnitude 9 quake of March 11th. The agency says it could trigger another tsunami in the same region. The Tohoku Shinkansen bullet train line is expected to resume full service as early as late April. The train route runs through the northeastern prefectures hit by that March 11th earthquake. East Japan Railway, or JR East, 
briefed the Transport Ministry on Tuesday on the progress of repairs to the line between Tokyo and Shin Aomori. The service was suspended after the disaster and has only been resumed in sections near the two terminals. The Super Express trains cannot run in the middle section between Nasu Shiobara and Morioka stations. JR East told the ministry that the repair work will take more than one month. TEPCO also says thermometers are working again at three of the reactors. It says the external surface temperature of the number three reactor was 366 degrees Celsius on Saturday morning, much higher than normal. The power company says it will pour more water onto the number one reactor as its temperature was 394 degrees at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday.